this question, there's two ways to do it. I'm going to do it the more difficult way first because this first way, uh, you have to invert other functions in this section. And a lot of times they're going to ask for f inverse of x, not just f inverse of a number. Uh, so let's go ahead. We're going to first find f inverse of x. Uh, and then we're going to replace x with negative 4. There's two steps to find inverses. So step one is swap x and y. And step two is solve for y. All right, so I'm going to rewrite our original function f of x equals x plus 2. I'm copying right at the top of the screen there. Divided by x plus 9. Now, first of all, you should be saying, well, there's no y here. So how am I going to swap x and y? Well, we always know that y equals f of x. So hopefully you remember that from pretty much everywhere. So the f of x is always the y value. So I'm going to swap out the f of x for y. Now, so I just, uh, now I can swap x and y. So this will be step one. y appears once. So when you swap x in for y, you do that once. Now x appears twice. If I could write, my y's do look like 4's, be careful. So I saw x twice, so I had to replace both x's with a y. All right, so step one's done. Step two, so that was swap. Step two, solve for y. Now I'm just going to rewrite this. So the first thing you're probably thinking is there's two y's. This is difficult. Sort of. The difficult part is not that there's two y's. It's that fractions suck. What's a good step? If you have a fraction, a lot of times multiplying by the denominator is a great first step. Because uh, we have to multiply both sides of the fraction. The right side, the reason we did this is because we just have y plus 2. It's going to cancel the entire denominator. The left side, I said the right thing and wrote the wrong thing. y plus 9 is what we're multiplying by. The left side is x times y plus 9. So I'm just going to write it. Now I'm going to distribute my x to both terms. xy plus 2x equals y plus 2. Okay. Y appears twice. I want to get all the Y's on one side. Let's go ahead and get the Y's on the left side. I'm subtracting Y on both sides. Now, I'm going to subtract 2X from both sides. All right, almost there. What do we do next? Well, we have Y appearing twice. How do we get that out of there? Remember, what you're looking at here is multiplication. Uh, and so we're going to factor an x minus 1 out of there. Could factor a 2 on the right side, but it's not really necessary. So we have now just y times the x minus 1. So divide by x minus 1. And this is a just fine answer right here. This is f inverse of x. I am going to do a little bit of algebra cleanup. I like my x term to be first, not second. So I'm going to go ahead and reorder this. Negative 2x plus 2 divided by x minus 1. And I'm going to factor out a negative 2 in the numerator. It's a little bit difficult because you have a positive, uh, it's probably easier to check what I did than to factor it in the first place. So you distribute your negative 2 in and you get negative 2x plus um, 4. There we go. Should be x minus 1. All right, x minus 1's cancel and you get negative 2.
I'm very suspicious. I was not expecting everything to cancel. Hmm. What is going on? <laughs> All right, so that's what I call the math spidey sense. I was not expecting it to cancel out to negative two. I was expecting there to be at least be an X one time in there. There was not an X one time in there. There was an X uh, completely absent. So where did I go wrong? Right here, I multiply by Y plus nine. That's good. However, you can see right here, that's not a nine. So we're gonna go through. I think this would be enough erasing that it's better to start over. So I'm just going to cross all this stuff out. It's all wrong. So we get to try a second time. Let's write the right thing down. There, we have a Y plus 9 there. All the same steps. I'm going to go through it much faster. Y plus 2. So I'm subtracting the Y and the 9x on the same step. Factor the y. And divide by x minus 1. Let's go ahead and do the... Uh, this, is, this is f inverse right here. So we are done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reorder just like I did last time negative 9x plus 2, divided by x minus 1, and then we'll factor the negative 9 out. There is no negative 9 in the 2, so I'm going to unmultiply by 9. Now, I realize I'm writing here something I told you not to do, which is multi-story fractions, uh, but do as I say, not as I do. So we Either of these two are good. Um, the last one's correct, but I just I don't like fraction inside of a fraction, multi-story fractions. So let's leave it at one of the last two right there. Whatever one works for you. And just remember, once you've solved for y, what you're looking at is f inverse. Let's go ahead and oh, we can't peek at the answer yet because what we have written is f inverse of x. And I'll rewrite that. I'll use the uh, second to last one, 2 minus 9x, divided by x minus 1, yes. Okay, the question says, find f inverse of negative 4. So, I'm going to replace x by negative 4. All right. Negative 9 times negative 4 is a big positive number, maybe 36. Negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. 2 plus 36, 38 over negative 5. And you can put your negative out front. Negative 38 over 5. Hopefully that's 7.6. Uh, let's just do some quick... How many fives are in 38? Seven of them. Oh, I can add three fifths. Can I add? Okay, negative, so why do I do that? That's negative seven minus three fifths, and I think three fifths is 0 0.6. 0 0.6, three fifths is six tenths, which is six tenths in decimal right there. All right, so that is negative 7.6. Okay, there we go. So you are done. Now, I alluded to the fast way. If you've made it this far, you deserve to find out what is the fast way. So let's rewrite it. F of x equals Is it x plus 2 over something? x plus 2 over x plus 
and we're going to find f inverse of negative 4. Okay. I'm going to let y equal f inverse of negative 4, and I'm going to move the f function to the other side. And how do I do that? I do it as its inverse. f of y equals negative 4. So what the question's really asking is what number, if you f it, gives you negative 4? So it doesn't really matter what value, what, if you had put an x or a y in. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just put a y in y plus 2 over y plus 9 equals negative 4. I just rewrote this, but I just put a y instead of an x. All right, how do we solve this? Exact same algebra you saw before. So multiply by the denominator. I'm doing the algebra a little quicker because it's the exact same algebra steps. Negative 4y minus a lot minus 36. All right, get all the y's on one side, y plus 4y, add 4y to both sides, subtract 2 on both sides, negative 36 minus 2 is negative 38. Almost done, factor your y. All right, if you were paying attention uh, and weren't tired like I am, you probably would have just said y plus 4y is 5y, which I'm about to see in two seconds here, 5y equals negative 38. And divide both sides by 5. Negative 38. I can't write an 8. There we go. And that is the exact same answer we got above. So you can do either way. Uh, I recommend the first way because it's more general and there's plenty of questions that ask you what is f inverse of x. So it's really important you know how to get that. And there we go, negative 7.6.